Hey guys, Teddy Roosevelt. Sure, Teddy Roosevelt really got his start in American politics in New York State as a progressive Republican. During the first McKinley administration, he was the Assistant Secretary of Navy, and then when the Spanish-American War broke out, he really made a name for himself leading the Rough Riders and really catapulting himself into the New York State governorship. The New York Republicans really liked Teddy Roosevelt because he was a pot star, so they got rid of him by getting him to run for vice president with William McKinley in his second term. And of course, in 1901, William McKinley dies, and suddenly, progressive Republican Teddy Roosevelt is president. I would say two things. I would say, no, domestically, he's a progressive. The square deal. Think about railroads and regulation, using the Sherman Antitrust Act, conservation, consumer protection, the Meat Inspection Act, and then speaking softly with that big stick in terms of the Roosevelt corollary. I call it Monroe with a gun. Using the Navy to promote U.S. interest around the world, and specifically in Latin America, he begins building the Panama Canal. He stepped down after his second term. He came back. He ran as a bull moose progressive. He got shot in the chest and still gave a speech. He's a bitch. Check out a longer video down below to learn more about Teddy Roosevelt. And always remember, guys, where tension goes, energy flows.